Good morning, students. Welcome to Solving Mathematics Syllabus D Paper 1, 4024 Variation 12, May, June 2017. In my last two videos, I have done up to question number 19. Today, I'm going to do question number 20 and onwards. Write 54 as the product of its prime factors. So 54, it goes by 2. 2 to the 4, 2 7 the 14, then 3, 3 9 the 27, 3 3 the so 54 can be written as 2 times 3 cubed, 2, 3 cubed. So that's going to be 2 times 3 cubed, done. Find the smallest possible integer m such that 54 m, m is a cube number. So 54 m equal to, 54 I can write down like this, 2 times 3 to the power 3. And then of course I have m. This is cube number. So if I have cubed, now the base, whatever the base is, its power has to be cubed or multiple of cube. Cube 3 or multiple of 3. Okay, so we can cancel it out. It's going to be a square number. Example, if you have 27 cube root, so 27 can be written as 3 cubed. So this this cross out. Or if you have um, 64, okay, that's cube root 64. So it can be written as 2 to the power 6 and then cube root means 1 by 3. See, this is multiple of 3. So this, this cross out 2, it can be written as 4. Of course, it can be written as 4 cubed. That's if you know that. But I wanted to show you if that multiple of 3, then it's going to work out like that. Okay. So m has to be such a number. It's the smallest number for which this one will have a cube number. Okay. So m has to be... See that 3 cubed is already a cube number. Okay. So all I need to concentrate on is 2. So 2 has already power 1. I need to raise it to power 3. So I need to multiply by 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 3. So m has to be 4 to make this one is a cube number. So m is 4. B. Find the value of k in each of the following k, uh, followings. Okay, so this is going to be 3 cubed and that's going to be half equal to 3 by k equal base. We can write down k equal to 3 by 2. So this is 3 by 2. And next one, this is going to be 2 square. 1 by 2 square to the power 3 equal to 2 to the power k. If I bring this one over here, 2 to the power minus 2 minus 3 equal to 2 to the power k. So 2 to the power minus 2 times minus 3, that's going to be 6 equal to 2 to the power k. Therefore, k equal to 6. So this times k equal to 6. Okay, now next one. OACB. OACB is a parallelogram. OA equal to A. Vector A, OB equal to B. P and Q are the po are points on OC. OC is such that OP, this PQ and QC are equal. So this, this, this equal. Express as simply as possible in terms of A and B, OP. So OP. Now OP is going to be since they are equal and this thing gets cut in three equal parts. So 1 by 3 of OC. 1 by 3. What is OC? If this is B and their parallelogram, this is supposed to be A. So that going to be 1 by 3. OC is going to be plus B plus A or A plus B. Okay. So that's our 1 by 3 A plus B. And BP. So I'll just join BP. This one BP. So to find out BP, I can go. That's the displacement from B to P. So B to O plus O to P. So B O plus op and bo can be since this is opposite so i can write down minus ob plus op ob is b and then minus b plus op was this 1 by 3 a plus b okay i need to simplify that so minus b plus 1 by 3 a plus 1 by 3b. So it's going to be, I'm going to write down over here, 1 by 3a. So now that's going to be minus 3 
plus 1 that's going to minus 2 by 3p so this bp can be written as 1 by 3a minus 2 by 3p so this is done show that triangle oaq uh, oaq so oaq this one oaq and and cbq cbp cbp this this one and this one are congruent okay so to do that there is one way is in triangle o a q and triangle c b p o a equal to c b o a o o a equal to c b okay that's opposite of the same parallelogram and then see these two are equal uh, parallel so this angle has to be equal to this angle okay so i can write down angle a o a o q equal to angle b c p b c p since these two angles these two sides are parallel this is transversal line so alternate interior angles okay and remember each of them was one part of uh, one of three of this so this gonna be oq should be two by three two by three of oc oc and pc is gonna be same way pc is gonna be two by three of oc since both of them are two by three of oc so these two are equal so you can write down oq equal to this is this is the length we are talking about oq equal to pc therefore triangle oaq is congruent to triangle cbp and the reason is s a s okay so this one is done now we are going for question number 22 a container is made out of a thin material in the shape of a keyboard with an open top so top there is no top the container has length 15 centimeter width 8 centimeter and volume is this calculate the height h of the container so volume is given volume equal to length times breadth into height so volume is 720 length is 15 breadth is height so uh, breadth is 8 and height so height is going to be 720 divided by 15 times 8 so 8 9 is 72 so 0 so 15 6 so h equal to 6 centimeter now calculate the total surface area inside uh, area of outside of the container so outside container so I have see that front and back they are the same so surface area of outside so that's gonna be 15 times 15 times h and h is 6 I have two of that front and back now this side and this side I have two of them so plus 8 times 6 8 times 6 times 2 plus this bottom the base 15 times 8 so 15 to the 30 30 times 6 is uh, 180 and then uh, this one gonna be 12 times 8 is 96 and 15 times 8 is uh, 40 that's 120 40 4 120 so if I add that 0 6 0 that's 6 2 11 99 carrying 1 2 3 396 square centimeter okay now uh, question number c says uh, question c says liquid is poured in uh, poured into the container the liquid fills 
60%, not the whole container, but 60% of it. So probably 60% should be somewhere over here. This part is filled by the liquid that's poured in. Okay, 60% and calculate the height. So this new height equal to what? That's what they're asking. So this height equal to what? Okay, so 60% of total volume was, remember it was 720. So 720 and the container remains same as length and breadth, only height changes. So it's gonna be 15 times eight times this capital H. I cannot use the small H because in the same math, I have used the small H. So I'm gonna use the capital H over here. Now this is gonna be 60 times 720 and this percentage, for this percentage, I'm gonna put 100 over here and 15 times eight is gonna be down below equal to H. So this zero, this zero, this zero, this zero. Okay, eight nines are nine three threes are nine three fives are so that's gonna be six threes are 18 divided by five so five threes are 15 that's three so 36.6 so it's gonna be 3.6 centimeter okay you can you can do this in this format threes are 15 then you have three so put a point get a zero so six thirty that's how I got that. Now, next one is saying that solve. It's a simple equation. So 7x, taking that to that side, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 3, 3 is a 9x. Bring this one over here, 7x plus 9x equal to 12. So that's going to be 16x equal to 12. So x equal to 12 by 16. 3, 4, uh, 4, 3 is a 4, 4 is a. So it's going to be 3 by 4. X is going to be 3 by 4. Simplify fully. So this is, see that 4 is a square number, 3 is a square number. I can write down 2X whole square minus 3 square. And that's going to be middle term break, 2 times 15. So 2X square minus 15X plus, no, it doesn't work that way. Uh, 2 times 15, then uh, uh, 5, 3 is uh, 3, so that's 10, yeah, that, that one I need. So this 10, 10x minus 3x plus 15, so on the top is going to be 2x minus 3 plus 2, uh, 2x plus 3, it's a square minus b square, a minus b, a plus b. And below here, if I take 2x common, x minus 5. Over here, 3 common, x minus 5. So 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3. And below here, x minus 5 and 2x minus 5. Uh, 5. What did I do wrong? Oh, okay, here, x minus five, this is gonna be two x minus three. So two x minus three, two x minus three, cancel out. So at the end, I'm gonna have two x plus three, two x plus three divided by x minus five. So answer is two x plus three divided by x minus five. Okay, last math. A bag contains n balls. Three of the balls are white. So white are three. And two balls are taken from the random. Replace white, not white. So not white is gonna be, remember total number was N. So N minus three. So total is three, uh, total is N. So when it's like that, white is three by N. So non-white is gonna be n minus 3 by n okay and then the first one is white taken so non-white is gonna be n minus 3 and from total I'm gonna subtract 1 n minus 1 okay this is white see 3 n minus 1 and non-white non-white so I need to subtract 1 from here 
so it's going to be n minus 3 n minus 3 minus 1 so it's going to be n minus 4 and from the denominator n minus 1 all this denominator has to be same n minus 1 so this one is done okay the, it was three diagrams so instead of reading we know that what to do the probability that both ball are white is 1 by 15 it's given both ball that we're gonna pick is white white and white the probability is given show that n square minus n minus 90 equal to 0 so probability of white and white okay that's gonna be 1 by 15 now this is gonna be 3 by n first one and then is 2 by n minus 1 equal to 1 by 15 so if I multiply that 6 times 15 and over here is n square minus n so this n square minus n and 6 times 15 is 90 taking that side so that's 90 equal to 0 and it says show we said showed All right, find the value of n. So simply simplify that, okay, using the calculator. Uh, you can you can use the calculator or you can use the the middle term break. So 90 times one, that's that. So it's gonna be nine times 10. So n square and bigger one has to be negative. Negative 10 n plus nine n minus 90 equal to zero. n common n minus 10 plus nine common n minus 10 equal to zero. So n minus 10, n plus 9 equal to 0, n is going to be 10, and n is going to be minus 9. Now n was the number of ball, okay? So n cannot be negative 9, therefore n has to be 10, okay? So that's done. This paper is done. If you have any question, leave it in the comment box. I'll get back to you, okay? Thank you for watching. Have a good day.